You will find wet roads if you're still heading to the polls tonight. As we take a live look outside, you can see it glistening on the expressway out there, and we've seen it right outside of our studios. Yeah, it is dumping in sheets. Meteorologist David Yeomans here now tracking the rain and the changing temperatures as well. And if you want any chance of voting, if you haven't yet and staying dry, push it as close to 7 o'clock as you can. I don't know how the lines will be, but that's when our forecast starts to dry out. In the meantime, though, it is a soaker out there. We still have the same storm system we've dealt with for the last several days, bringing us warm and occasionally wet weather knocking on our doorstep. Just to the west, though, the rain ends with a cold front that will be pushing through our area shortly and temperatures drop starting tonight. Look at that 40s in Fargo, Minneapolis and Des Moines. That cooler west wind starts to blow in here at about 11 p.m. In the meantime, though, it will be wet for the next couple hours and warm through midnight. There comes the cold front, though. By morning, you'll have the coats back on with more seasonable conditions blowing in rain totals and they're still stacking up. So these are not final numbers over two inches in parts of northwest Indiana. St. Anne so far the winter Flossmore over two inches as well. O'Hare, this is one of the heaviest one day rain totals that we've seen since July 1.68 inches in the past couple of days. Most of that just coming today over the next hour. These strands of heavier rain continue to lift northward through Chicago after 7 p.m. Though notice the rain really starts to move out quickly. Here comes the cold front with a dry passage in Chicago at 11 p.m. Tomorrow morning, cooler winds and mostly cloudy skies blow in as that cool air blows over a relatively warm Lake Michigan. Notice we could have a couple lake effect sprinkles at times tomorrow in northwest Indiana. It's hardly a mentionable 10% chance of rain, but don't be surprised if you do see one down in the tropics. You know, hurricane season is not over yet, and we are getting a reminder of that approaching Cuba and well south of Miami. Tropical storm Rafael possibly about to rapidly intensify to a category one, maybe category two hurricane. Hurricane. Now the impacts to the US will be lesser than the past few storms we've seen. It'll brush close to the Florida Keys tomorrow, then be weakening on approach, likely a tropical storm, even tropical depression as it eventually approaches the northern Gulf Coast on Sunday. We will keep you advised nonetheless. Tonight back here at home, mostly cloudy and cooler winds after the forecast dries out after 730 or 8 o'clock tomorrow. No more 60s to near 70. How about highs in the mid 50s with a few lake effect sprinkles and mostly cloudy skies. Seven day forecast has much calmer weather for the next several days with highs in the 50s to near 60 by Friday. Dry weather returns tomorrow and continues until the next storm brings some rainy, windy weather Saturday night into Sunday morning. Look at Veterans Day, though breezy and cool with high temperatures of 58. Joe, Erica, David, thank you.